Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, faculty of chemistry and today we are going to discuss about born haber cycle. So what is born haber cycle and for what it is used? It is used to calculate the lattice energy and many bond parameters. So before going for this born haber cycle, I just want to show you Infinity Learn is offering score examination, India's largest scholarship examination. Why it is called as India's largest scholarship examination? It is going to provide you the scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and laptop and also you will be giving educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship. So why late in the description box link is available and everybody click it and gather the information and uh, fill the form and write the examination. One important thing this score examination is for any student you may be a student of infinity land or you may be a student of any other school or institute still you are eligible to write and one more important thing this score examination is purely online you can sit at home and you can write it all the best and grab all these opportunities one more important thing uh, whenever you are preparing for an examination it is required to go for a proper assessment for that assessment infinity learn is offering need 2025 all india test series pack and which contain 27 AITS examination in that 13 unit test 4 part test and grant test and it is purely based on NEET examination and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test on 25 NEET topic wise PYQs and also 3 physics chemistry books are available along with video solutions on the app and you will be meticulously Clarified all detailed solutions and performance benchmarking with Sri Chaitanya students and why late and these many facilities who is going to give infinity learn is going to give very cheaper price for 2999 it was a 5999 now it is a limited period discount it is giving when you apply YouTube 50 of the coupon code you are going to get it for just for 2999 in the description box the link is available and get use of these and prepare your neat examination full enthusiasm so all the best my dear students getting into the details born haber cycle so born haber cycle is used to calculate the lattice energy what is the lattice energy the energy that binds the ionic crystal the force that binds the ionic crystal here so the energy binding ions together in a crystal is called lattice energy and how do you calculate this so you take a, a sodium chloride a solid one mole of sodium chloride solid and it give the energy to give rise split into its constituent gaseous ions so it is an endothermic process so the amount of energy that required to break one mole of solid ionic lattice into its constituent gaseous ions is called lattice energy you can also say this is uh, sodium plus in the reverse way uh, in the gas state and Cl minus in the gas state gives a sodium chloride in the solid state. So it is going to be delta H is equal to negative 790 kilojoules. So amount of energy released when one mole of ionic lattice is formed, ionic lattice is formed from its constituent gaseous ions. So it is called a lattice energy. It is impossible to calculate lattice energy because you can't get this gaseous isolated ions and put it into a calorimeter so that we have to use indirect method that is born haber cycle. By using born haber cycle you can calculate the lattice energy of sodium chloride. I want to today I want to take sodium chloride as an example and explain you how to do that. So it is based on uh, law. What is Hess law? Hess law is said to be constant heat of summation. A reaction whether it is taking place in a single step or a multiple steps. The heat of a reaction is same. Let us say A is converted into E or D by heat called Q. A can be converted into B. B can be converted into C. C can be converted into D. So it require Q1, it require Q2 and require Q3. So what Hasselhoff constant heat of summation says Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So this is what is called as Hess law of constant heat of summation. Not only here but also every 
part of the thermochemistry can use this. The heat of a reaction is same whether the reaction takes place in a single step or a multiple steps. Let us apply this in the sodium chloride lattice formation. In this, the concept is illustrated by taking a sodium chloride lattice formation. In this, the heat of formation of sodium chloride can be calculated from bond energies very easily in the direct step. Sodium is a solid and chlorine is a gas. You are going to get one mole chlorine, sodium chloride is a solid. For that, minus 411 kilojoule is formed. This is called enthalpy of formation, a single step ka reaction. Let us say the multiple steps, indirect steps. In indirect steps, various levels of steps you are going to take, like sublimation of one mole of sodium. So, sodium is a solid is converted into gas that is called enthalpy of sublimation or you can say enthalpy of atomization and that required plus 109 kilojoules. And also you can say dissociation of all of chlorine, chlorine molecule is dissociated to get a, uh, half mole of chlorine molecule dissociated to get uh, one mole of chlorine atoms. So that is called enthalpy of dissociation or enthalpy of atomization. So for that it is required uh, that is bond dissociation energy by 2 that is uh, required energy 244 kilojoule per mole. Once the sodium gaseous atoms and chlorine gaseous atoms are ready, you can remove the electron from the sodium. So for that addition of one mole of electron to one mole of chlorine atoms so that uh, electron affinity of the chlorine is taken which is exothermic process which requires the energy minus 348 kilojoules and also uh, sodium atom in the gaseous state it is formed it is going to give you sodium ions so that to form the sodium chloride and for that you require a born haber cycle so for that born haber cycle sodium plus soft chlorine gives rise sodium chloride this is enthalpy of formation let us see in the indirect way sodium gives rise to sodium gas sublimation energy and the chlorine gas gives rise chlorine atoms bond dissociation energy so for one mole we are taking half mole for so that it is divided by two and for that you need to add an electron here you need to remove an electron here so that sodium for ionization energy you are going to get sodium plus and uh, chlorine electron gain energy or electron gain enthalpy is going to give cl minus so these two are going to join to give rise sodium chloride so sodium plus cl minus join together sodium chloride is formed that releases energy is called as lattice energy so this is the direct step and it has to be added with this equal to this and this and this and this and this that can be calculated by using Hess law of constant heat of summation the summation of the above five reactions and their delta h values allows us to calculate the value of the lattice so that enthalpy of formation minus 411 is equal to sublimation energy bond dissociation energy ionization energy electron affinity and minus lattice energy on solving so you got lattice energy so based on that the lattice energy is calculated as 790 kilojoules so what is the importance of this particular expression so you will be given any one of the values and you will be asked any other values. So simple by using algebraic sum you can calculate lattice energy or electron affinity, bond dissociation energy whatsoever it may be. In today's class it is a valuable information about the bond haber cycle and Hasla is given for the lattice energy and stay tuned for this type of short videos where we can discuss a micro sized micro level concept where you never escape any question from the neat examination so stay tuned thank you very much please like and share and subscribe to infinity learn neat youtube channel thank you thank you very much